Alright, welcome back. Now I'm going to show you how to make a golden looking text. So first what I do, I usually make a new project and I, let's just do 2000 by 1500. Just to get the most quality picture. Well, so it won't be too pixelated. So what I do first, I paint the screen, all the image like all black. Like without fill buckets, but you don't have to think about that. You can like learn on the fill bucket in the previous videos. Then I'm gonna make a new layer over here. Pick out this text tool, and let's just use white. Let's start with that. Let's make it a bit bigger because otherwise text will be like this small, which we don't want, and you can you can you can barely see it so let's just put it in like one actually a tight bigger all right then I'm just gonna do this center align just for the purpose of the video and type gold all right but what if we don't like this font you can easily go here and pick another font and Let's find some cool looking font. Alright, I already know what font I'm gonna use. It's called Hauser or Heiser. Don't know how to pronounce it right. Maybe a bigger. Alright, here we go. That looks good. So, since we are making gold text, I usually like to make the main color of the text first. So, I'll pick this gold here that I already found. Remember to pick uh, like gold is looking color and one a bit darker to do that Let's say if you have like some random color here Just go on the color wheel find a good gold color and Press this button here add color to palette press it and then you can add it Make it a tiny bit darker like this do it again and Here we go but I already found like a very good gold looking colors. So I left click on the bright color of the gold and right click on the darker color. Then we have two colors picked. But nothing has happened yet. That's because we are gonna use the gradient tool, which is over here. And we are gonna go on here on the left side and pick a linear reflected. So what I usually do is I select all the text, just left click, hold control, and click on every part. Yeah, it's fine. And now I'm gonna go back to this part. What I do, I picked all of the pick the line here. I go from the like center, like of the text itself hold left click and drag it a bit down now we have like gold text which is easy and to get the right alignment and like snaps it in place just hold shift then you can make like a diagonal uh, gold effect or just straight I usually like to have a bit like on the, like a line uh, not di diagonal and do it like this so it's not completely straight down or to the right. It just looks better like that, like a reflection. Then the more I drag out, the more like lighter it will be. But I always want to have the dark colors a bit, like here and here. And this is how you make a gold color. Super simple and super easy. Okay, I'm gonna show you now why I didn't pick the white one. So I'm gonna make a new layer. Just hide this layer over here. Let's pick this and type gold again. Pay attention, I'm only using 50% tolerance. Do the same process. I mean, you could uh, also use white for it, but I recommend to have it a bit yellowish. So you can all, like, exp 
experiment with the colors. So yeah. I actually like this. Uh, I, I mean, this looks okay, but if I zoom in, we see this gray line, and we don't really want that. Same here. That's because the strength of the magic wand was only 50%, so it didn't pick every single, it just tried to pick every, like 50% like widest colors. So those are like gray, so it doesn't really pick that because it's beyond the 50%. So you can always like expand it or, or make it higher or lower, but if you make it higher, just be careful, you could accidentally sell the whole screen. So just experiment with this as well. So let's hide this and let's back get this back, like here. You can't see anything. Let me just take this real quick out of the picture. Like you see, you can see a bit over here, but it doesn't like give us like to like a white color, gray color. But yeah, that's how to make a uh, goldish looking. Uh, text and the reason why I made it into another layer and not just directly on the background layer is so I can do it here and move it rotate it without having any problem with this background so yeah that's it thank you so much for hopping in and please let me know if you want to see me do something specific or if you're not sure how to do something just let me know in the comment section below and thank you so much and i'll see you next time bye bye